Okay, this video simply explains how to evaluate the test statistic versus um, the Z critical value to determine whether to reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So in my future videos, when I go over problems in specific, you need to watch this first. Okay, and this is a little sloppy, but uh, this is, I couldn't find anything online that I really liked, so I made one myself, and I'm not very good at it, as you can see, as far as neatness. Okay, for a left tail test, we have a Z-critical factor, okay, and we also have a test statistic. You're going to get, you're going to have uh, both of these calculated on your spreadsheets when you put the information in. If the test statistic T is less than the Z-critical value, and it's a left tail test, you have to know which uh, tail test it is. Um, then we reject the null hypothesis. If that T test statistic is greater than Z critical, we fail to reject the null hypothesis, okay? For a right tail test, here's your Z critical factor. It's over here, value, okay? If that T test statistic is greater than the Z critical factor in a right tail test, we reject the null hypothesis. If that T test statistic is less than that Z critical value, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. FTR is my um, shortcut for fail to reject, okay? In a two-tailed test, you have two rejection regions. All, all the time in a two-tailed test, you're gonna have two critical values. They're always gonna be the same number, one negative, one positive. So in other words, it's either gonna be negative one for the left over here and positive one for the right over here. Negative 2.5 for the left over here, positive 2.5 for the one over here. So if the T falls either less than that negative value or bigger than that right value, then we reject the null hypothesis. If that T test statistic falls anywhere in between that left negative number and that right positive number, then we fail to reject the null hypothesis, okay? So um, you probably just want to jot that down or you know, however you want to do it. Just jot down something like this, probably the best way to do it. And then as the problems as you go through the problems, um, use this information to tell you whether to reject or fail to reject an all hypothesis, okay?